guys, I'm Rydell. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am doing full wedding day prep, hair, makeup, skincare, packing, all the things I need to do before my big day that I'm literally freaking out about. It's gonna be obviously the best day of my life, but holy moly, there is a lot to do. We basically got about a week left until it's here. Just been prepping like crazy. Z. First thing I'm going to show you guys is my skincare routine because on our very special day and every day, of course, we want clear skin. Doesn't always happen, but thankfully, my skin has been looking so great. I've been using Good Habit. <laughs> so you guys know how I love and wear blue light glasses because staring at screens all day is like really bad for your eyes? Well, guess what? It's also bad for your skin. Mind blown. I'm starting out with the Clean Scene Micellar Gel to clean my face, make sure it's all sparkly, squeaky clean, and feeling good. Good Habit is a skincare brand that is dedicated to defending our skin from artificial blue light. Think about how many times a day we check our phones. Blue light penetrates at a deeper level and is actually causing damage to our skin when we're looking at our phones. Next, I'm using the Texture Magic Exfoliating Toner. I'm just gently rubbing this all over my face with a towel or you can use a cotton pad. Following up with the glow Low Potion Oil Serum. Their Rescue Me collection is formulated with hyaluronic acid, blue tansy, and blue spirulina. It's a superfood packed with antioxidants and vitamins to help improve your skin tone and decrease inflammation. And last but not least, I'm going to put the Water Jelly Dew Cream all over my face and then my skincare routine is complete. Don't forget to use my code guys to get 15% off your first order at Good Habit. Click the link in the description below. All right guys, the next thing I've been doing for wedding day prep is swimming laps in the pool like crazy. It's just been such a great, easy, full body workout and then I'm done. And I also go for walks sometimes too. Just get in the pool, do some laps, lay on a floaty, get a little bit of tan, which is also wedding day prep, and then I'm done. I'm gonna wet my hair. Oh, check out my new glasses. I mean goggles. This one laps. Okay. I wet my hair with regular water. You're a blonde and you're like, oh my gosh, my hair always gets green in the summer because I'm in the pool and the chlorine a lot. You have to wet it with regular water first and you don't wring it out. You just wet it completely as much as you can. Basically, your hair is soaking up the regular water so that it doesn't soak up the chlorine water. Ah! This is gonna be interesting. I'll show you guys, but I don't wanna get the camera wet. <laughs> Oh. oh, I almost sucked the whole camera. Don't ring it out, remember? I just flip it up here, and then we jump in the pool as quick as possible. Yay! The goggles are going on. It's the best purchase I've ever bought on Amazon. Best part about these goggles is go like this. Whoop towel! And they're off. <laughs> now, guys, I'm gonna go shower. Then I'm gonna shave head to toe. Then I'm gonna put a hair mask in and then probably apply some tanner. Whoa, okay, trying to balance the camera. Okay, guys, I just got out of the shower, shaved head to toe, like I said. And now I'm going to put in a hair mask. Oh, I didn't get it out. This works. Just take any really, really thick conditioner and it will do the trick. Sometimes I sleep in these and sometimes I just leave them on for like oh, a substantial amount of time. <laughs> ha! That was nice. Oh yeah, ASMR hair conditioner. My hair looks so extra dark when it's wet. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're just gonna tie that up like that. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go in with tanning mousse. A lot of people when applying self tanner, they use one of those mitts. With mousse, it's pretty even. Like, I've had really good luck with mousses. I think the mousses go on extremely even, and they come off really even. So this is what I'm gonna be using for the wedding rather than getting a spray tan. So it just pumps out like mousse. Oh. And I just start with my legs and work my way up. Oh, I wash my hands extremely well after, and then I have either my mom or Capron help me with the top of my hands so that my hands aren't orange, basically. All done with the self-tanning mousse. I'm gonna leave this on for four hours, rinse it off very lightly, quick, and pat dry, and then put lotion on. Now, I'm gonna put on whitening strips. I've been using whitening strips forever. I'm gonna put these on. Leave them on for 30 minutes. First thing I do is I open them all completely. When I was younger, these never stayed on me. I could not figure it out. And then finally one day I'm like, oh, 
you have to dry your teeth off. So I get the strip ready and I take toilet paper and I tap dry my teeth and my gums so that there's no saliva. It's weird, but I promise it helps. Okay, then you hurt it on your way. <laughs> Boom. Okay, now for the bottom one, same thing. Now I set my timer on my phone for 30 minutes. The four hour mark was up, so I washed out my conditioner. My hair is so soft. And I rinsed off my tanner, looking good and bronze. Today I'm going to be getting my nails and toes done. Mom and I are here getting them done. Oh, wait, I'm <laughs> Wait, I was getting my. I need lips too, actually. I don't have any. I, it's like a really light color, but okay. I had it in my brow, but then it fell down. I just needed something. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we're ready. Action. We are getting our nails and toes done for the wedding today, and also got my hair highlighted. Totally forgot to film it for you guys. Just space. That day was crazy, but hair is done and highlighted and looking fresh. Now we're gonna get our nails and toes done, so let's go. I've had these for like six weeks. Look how grown out they are. Oh, are you ready? I'm so excited. Okay, guys, I'm getting bridal dress all white. So cute. our nails and toes let me show you oh they're so pretty yay 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 well, I just did plain white on why I didn't do anything fancy I kind of just wanted it simple and clean and pretty I almost did just my ring finger sparkly but I really just like them plain colored yay so nails done check almost done guys we're checking off the list so the next thing that I want to do is pack my makeup I Got a new bag and I actually had a bag like this all through touring because I love when the makeup is separated and it's not just like thrown in a bag. So I got a pink one of course and it just opens and it has all these compartments so nothing ever breaks and stuff. I'm gonna load this up. The next thing I'm packing is my wedding day emergency kit. Look how cute this is. So, safety pins, but these are gold ones instead of silver. Just because I, I don't know, I thought they were cuter. And it's a really cute case, like it has every size. So I'm just gonna pack this whole thing in here. Mouthwash, not all of them obviously. I'll just put one in there. What is this? Oh, this is boob tape. I've always wanted to try this. This might not go in the emergency kit. This will just go in the kit kit. Uh, I'll put pasties maybe in there, I don't know, for something. And then this is like that sports tape, boob tape. So if I have any dresses that are super like backless or um, strapless, I don't, I don't know, stuff where I need to, where I can't wear a bra, then you use this tape apparently. And you like tape your boobs up, <laughs> something. Heels spray. This I've used before on red carpets, not this brand, different brand. But it's almost like a liquid band-aid. You spray your whole foot and it like puts a protective seal over it. And then you won't get blisters. Bag is small, but it's surprisingly, I think it's gonna hold a lot. Body tape, this is nice because it's an actual roll of tape because there's also those strips that you can take off individually, but this will be nice because then if anyone needs it, I have enough for everybody. Band-aids, check, check. Came with a travel size one, so I'm gonna put the smaller heel one in this bag, the emergency kit. Boom, boom. Oh, I don't know. Didn't wanna forget that just in case. I have a massive headache or something. Wow, this is a big bottle, what the heck? This is huge. On Amazon, it looked like it was gonna be a cute little tiny guy. Yep, there we go. All done, emergency kit. Set. You guys, I forgot one of the most important things that needs to be in the emergency day kit is lip stuff. Okay, coming. So I'm gonna put this in. Oop. Next thing I'm gonna pack is my toiletry bag. I got a new toiletry bag. I got a lot of new stuff just because everything I've been using is really old and gross because I've been touring with it for like 10 years. So I wanted to get 
just new cute pink stuff. Okay guys, barely fitting it all in. I don't ever bring travel size stuff. I know it's funny because I travel so much you think I'd use smaller bottles of things, but when we're on tour and stuff, we're usually gone for like two months. So I go through a lot of products. So in the big compartment, I have two dry shampoos because I might be using a lot this whole weekend. And plus this is for honeymoon as well. Two dry shampoos, conditioner, shampoo, texture spray, makeup remover, and pomade for Caper and Sarah. And then in this front little pocket, I put alcohol wipes for my nails. Since my nails are white, I wanna make sure they stay white. So I'm gonna use those on my nails. And then my little toothbrush and toothpaste right there. Hair ties up here. Here's the final toiletry bag lineup. I have a lot of stuff as you can see. So I ended up going just outside of one bag. Emergency day kit, of course. Then this is all like, Toothbrush, toothpaste, all my hair stuff, etc. This entire bag is tanners, sparklers, lotions, things to make your skin look beautiful and shiny. And then all my skincare is in here. <laughs> Yay! So the last thing I need to do is pack all my suitcases. Whoa, my hair looks pink. It looks like my hair is pink again. So I'm gonna show you everything that I did. I have all my outfits in these two pink bags and I'm gonna fold them up and put them in this big suitcase here. All caprons in these black bags here and I'll fold those in the same suitcase. In this suitcase, I have all of our shoes. I bagged them because they're all white and I was worried they were gonna get ruined. On this side is, oh, that's lingerie. Lingerie, pajamas, swimming suits, purses. And then I have our funk hats. I got capron, new underwear. Then I have all of of our custom jumpers that we made and then I have this bride one and this bride one all my underwear is in here it's all like seamless tan underwear and then I have to just fill this up with socks and then the last suitcase is this one which is all gifts and extra stuff so a couple of the bridesmaids that couldn't come to the bachelorette party like I have their jumpers here I have a cute wifey and hubby thing. I have these sashes for the girls that we forgot to bring for the bachelorette party. Bow ties and suspenders for all the groomsmen. Over here I have uh, presents for the bridesmaids and then I have pink socks for the boys as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video which is probably going to be wedding related either like wedding footage all that stuff oh and if you guys want to see all the full full wedding footage will be on Cape and Redell's channel so I'll link that down below so make sure you guys go subscribe below love you guys Mwah.